We're back! I'm back, 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 back! Here I am again, guys. I'm sorry for being so absent from your presence. I'm so sorry. And as you can see, I'm crying. <laughs> Not really. Uh, but it's just great to be back. I'm sorry for being away for so long. I've been trying and trying to get back to all of you guys, but little for little or no success because so much has happened over here, like renovations, remodeling of our house, some of our of a house has been remodeled so it was difficult to take the time out to actually film with these guys so here I am again guys this is Fangirl Reviews and it's time to get back into it <laughs> Are going to review to review a new short film called Once Upon a Studio and I know most of you guys have already seen it and probably have set your own uh, thoughts on it so it's my time to actually take the time out to tell you guys about it so it's an interesting take and I really love it because it has so many re reoccurring characters that I have either forgot or haven't seen in say for so long in the two-dimensional type animation type technique in ages so it's kind of great and refreshing to see so many characters return just to rehash their character the um, type of thing and it's so so great to see that some of these characters who voice over actors have returned including Jim Cummings as you guys probably have heard I have actually met in person this year who he's a really nice guy and I even got a chance to have a photo with him at the supernova and I got to have, have a one-on-one -on -one video with him or via audio video interview with him where I get to hear him speak to my favorite characters Winnie the Pooh and Tigger well, hello out there. It's me, Winnie the Pooh, and I thought that it would be lovely to stop by and say hello to my dear friend, Sarah, because you see, she's just as sweet as honey. Oh, she certainly is, Pooh. And don't forget to remember, Sarahs are wonderful things. They're kind of like tiggers, only ferrets. So don't forget, no matter where you go, there you are, and keep on bouncing. Otherwise, it would be ridiculous. Isn't that right, Sarah? Bye bye, Dan. Um, Tigger, thanks very much, and thanks very much, Pooh. TTFN! <laughs> so, anyway, I'll dive into the actual story that takes place in this video. So, the story takes place where the creators of from the Disney Animation Group are just leaving the building and they're reminiscing about if these walls could talk and about the past, about how Disney has come such a long way since 1937 where they did the first ever um, feature animation uh, Snow White so it's been almost a couple of years now so it's really great to see how far we've come it, it's been like 100 years so anyway while the creators are leaving then we see Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse are waking up like and they then reassemble the group like all the animation characters from throughout the um through hundreds of years i mean 100 years to do a bit of a a reunion photo of all the characters so um mickey assembles tinkerbell to go and try to get all everyone ready to get themselves for the for the memorable photo so we get to see so many characters come back including um, let me see, Mad Hatter and Genie, like um, Robin Williams' Genie. It's great to see his um, archive, you know, voice in this in this um, short, obviously. And let me see a lot of other characters reappear that here and there, and it's great to see them again. <laughs> uh, we also see a lot of other characters that we have not seen in ages, like ones that may go that aren't very well known you guys you may not remember them very well so but that's okay and also we got to see some really funny bits here and there we also get to see um, newer characters like the um, new wish um, the you know animation that's coming out that came out 
that's really cool and we also get to see fr the frozen characters and a lot of other 3d animation cartoons here and there except for absence ones like um toy story which is not belongs to um di oh, well not may not belong to completely belong to disney or the these monsters inc or the or even the you know the ice age one characters even though they do have a collaboration on those ones, obviously. So anyway, they start assembling outside for a group photo, and as Goofy is setting up the camera, it's an old age camera, as you may see uh, from the um, video footage, and as he's assembling the camera, he falls from the ladder, and all the characters are disappointed that the camera is destroyed, so they have, and Eeyore complains that they may have to wait another hundred years before making a group photo. So the group slowly begin to go back inside the building and as they're um, going inside we hear Alan Adele from Robin Hood replaying or re, um, the um, uh, When You Wish Upon a Star and as he's playing members of the um, group start singing and the song and then um, thanks to Hercules and some of the other members of the characters start assembling the ladder and the camera itself gets repaired and then it's mounted on the ladder and they all assemble for their photo and then click they got their photo I know it's a very short animation it's like 10 minutes long but it's a really memorable moment because oh I should mention I, I should have not missed this part but there was a moment in this animation that really touches me in a big way where you see Mickey looking at Walt Disney's photo and you're thinking oh, if only this man was here and see how much he's he's kind of brought everyone together for because of those cartoons and animations he was the father of you know of animations and is not a man to be quitted when it comes to never saying no to a new project so it's a bit of a nice that he has he inspired new animation actors to in animation creators to create so much new con new content so it's great to see that he's been a bit of an inspiration to all of us Anyway, um, so that's the Once Upon a Studio. So I'll give you my, uh, the, uh, my what my ratings for this one is. I give it um, five stars out of five. <laughs> so as you guys may or may not be aware, this is um, I did this one came out this year alone. So this is like the 100th year anniversary, and it's been announced all over the place. It's been shown on toys and um, item and merchandise, explaining how we have had so many wonderful content um, animations over the past couple of years, including Robin Hood and Cinderella and the the um, Fox and the Hound and all sorts of ones that come to mind especially um the ones that don't get very much praise because they're either not very nice enough or have been sh shelved away for good reasons anyway throughout oh i should mention that aside from the main characters from the animations they also had the villains appear in the photo too so it was a nice approach because i didn't like the idea of them just to make the uh, lead characters, the ch the only people to get their photo looked at. So it's great to see that both the villains and the heroes reappear in such a nice, you know, vi short video. So I really hope that that this will encourage more and more um, younger audiences to actually go back and rewatch. The oldies a little bit along the way. Yeah, I do think that they're worth watching, uh, you know, along, in my mind. So, also, guys, I, I that it's great to see that they brought back so oh the um some still alive act, voice actors for these for these short bits. I mean, they also brought back the original um, Bella from Beauty and the Beast and um, Ariel and. 
and there's all sorts of other characters of course some of the rest of them has, have been long dead or have retired or just don't want to return so they kind of had their arc they used archive audio for this bit for this video obviously all right guys so that's once upon a studio so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope i guys see you guys for my next one obviously i'll try to make sure i get a few more done before christmas so have a good um you know um christmas everyone so i'll see you guys for my next video bye for now